There are lots of signs of fall, and in Arizona, a shortage of teachers for state schools has long been one of them. But educators say it is particularly bad this year. As Cronkite News reporter John Brown reports from our Washington Bureau. Sarah James has been a teacher for 24 years, but what she sees in Arizona classrooms this fall worries her, both as a teacher and a mom. I think it's impacted as a mother of two kids. Um, I am worried about seeing veteran teachers, high quality teachers leave. What worries James and others is a teacher vacancy rate this fall that is high even by Arizona standards, where filling teacher jobs is an annual scramble for school districts. There have been a lot of districts around us that have lost a lot of staff and are feeling that effect of um, not being able to fully staff. Schools. A report from the Arizona School Personnel Administrators Association from early this year said 31% of teacher jobs were unfilled in January, up 5 percentage points the year before. As of June, the association said there were 2,200 teacher vacancies. To help ease the shortage, state lawmakers this year eased testing and certification requirements for teachers and made it easier for out-of-state teachers to take jobs in Arizona and let local school districts train school administrators. While that could help, educators say it does not address the real problems with the ongoing teacher shortage, low pay, poor working conditions, and little support in schools. We need to make sure that people that are already in the classroom who are veteran educators who have been committed to the common good and make, being committed to their communities stay there. The National Education Association reported that the average starting teacher's salary from last school year was 41,770. In Arizona, the average starting salary was 40,554. Both Garcia and James say it's not a teacher shortage, but rather a retention problem with teachers in school districts, an argument echoed by Beth Lewis. I used to work at a school that was really low income and the teacher turnover rate was 50% every year. One solution, she says, is more funding and training to better prepare teachers. James admits the pay and benefits can make it hard to get by, but she's sticking to her job. In Washington, John Brown, Cronkite News. Exact numbers for the current school year are not yet available, but the Arizona School Personnel Administrators Association, which has been doing its teacher vacancy survey since 2016, says about one-fourth of teacher jobs are typically still vacant about a month into the school year.